Hi, I'm Allison Petty with the Herald and Review. You may have noticed that construction is beginning in downtown Decatur, so we asked the city's development planner, Stephanie Ash Brown, to show us around and tell us about the city's plans. Overall, the Downtown Streetscape Enhancement Project is a three-year project of which we're in the beginning of the second year that will greatly improve all of the aesthetics of the downtown area as well as the pedestrian and vehicular experience. We're reducing um, traffic lanes from three to two on Main and Franklin. We are removing all of the truck traffic off, adding spaces for outdoor dining, and increasing the on-street parking. The price tag for the project is approximately $14 million, $10 million of which we bonded um, through our TIF program, which is a healthy TIF program we have had going for 10 years in the downtown. Uh, $2 million is a grant we receive from the state, and another $2 million is from money we receive from the state when we took over the 51 route through the downtown. Um, one of the biggest concerns a lot of people have right now with the with the construction is celebration. We have worked it into the construction schedules with the contractors so that it will not be interrupted um, for celebration. All construction will be stopped. We are actually here in the 200 block of North Water, or 100 block of North Water, looking at the 100 block of South Water, where construction has started um, for the second round of phase one construction on the downtown streetscape enhancement project. Uh, what you will see down here is they are putting in new sidewalks, putting in um, new curb and gutter, making sure the drainage flows correctly, and putting back more parking. Well, right now we're standing at the corner of South Park and Water where major changes will be happening within the next several weeks. Right now you'll see two-way traffic in the 100 North Block and one-way traffic in the 200 Block. By the time the contractors are done, you'll be able to drive either direction all the way through on water. I'm standing now on the corner of Prairie and Water Street, and as you can see behind me, construction is well underway. What we have here is they have started on the north side of Prairie and have removed all of the concrete and are putting it back in row by row. The concrete will then be followed by the bricks and all of the lights that go into all of the um, sidewalks, and we'll also have new areas for outdoor dining. All right, now we are on Merchant Street where the construction will start this week. We have all new concrete going in from storefront to storefront. Um, Merchant Street will have the added effect of getting all new streets put in in addition to new sidewalk. Um, you will not see a curb and gutter here on the east side of the street, sorry about that, but you will see a curb and gutter on the west side of the street to help with drainage. Um, in addition, the one big change to Merchant Street will be that the traffic will be reversed. You will no longer drive from south to north. It will be going from north to south. The businesses, when you do this, the businesses will be on the driver's side and it will be easier, easier to see them and it will help with circulation throughout the downtown. We are now standing on Main Street in the 100 block of Lincoln Square. And as you can see behind me, we've already started to put in many of the angled parking spaces while reducing the lanes down to two. On the other side of the street, you'll see the Lincoln Square Theater as well as Lincoln Lounge. There they have opted to remove some of their front door parking to extend their sidewalks out so they get more outdoor dining opportunities. For those of you who are concerned about the angled parking, the way it has worked, and we've been monitoring it very closely since we installed this, is every time there is a red light, there's an ample break for cars to back out, pull forward, green light, everybody goes, red light, people stop, there's time for you to back out and move on. Um, it's definitely increased our parking. We have, right now, I think we have 40 new spots downtown just by putting in more angled parking and there are a lot more to come. Here we're on the 200 block of North Main where the sidewalks are getting a much needed revamp. Um, as you can see, a lot of the patches have been filled with asphalt and concrete. Um, there are a lot of hazardous steps. It is not ADA compliant. And when we are all said and done with this project, every sidewalk in the downtown where we've touched, you'll be able to get a wheelchair, a stroller, a bike up with no problem. Now we are standing on the corner of North and Water Street where construction was completed in the fall of 2011. Um, as you can see here, it has all of the elements that we've put into the streetscape that will be going in throughout the rest of downtown from the red bricks surrounded by black brick, new sidewalks, um, new ADA accessible ramps, new light fixtures with the colorful glow rings on top, and um, new pedestrian walks, walkways. We'll be following the downtown developments as they progress, so check back at heraldandreview.com for more information.